Hello, I'm Megan Litweiler, the Program Manager for Advanced Learning Initiatives at the Irving Institute for Energy and Society. Welcome to our first week of Energy 101. Thank you for joining us. For our first video, we're chatting with Dr. Amanda Graham, the Academic Director at the Irving Institute, and we'll talk about what the Irving Institute is and what we do, what this course is all about, and we'll have an introduction to some of the key drivers of our transition to sustainable energy. Welcome, Amanda. Thanks so much, Megan. I'm delighted to be here. All right, so let's jump in. So why should anyone take this course? What's the big deal with energy? Um, thanks for starting at the beginning. Um, the big deal with energy is that it's really important, it is fascinating, and it's fun. So these are the reasons why I think folks should take Energy 101. So why is energy important? Energy is completely embedded in our modern, modern lives. And for um, the past couple of hundred years, it has been an, a, a tremendous force in improving quality of life worldwide. Our modern education systems, our modern health systems, our modern transportation systems, all of those are made possible because of our relationship with energy. But energy has also uh, increasingly become problematic because the forms of energy that we use also uh, impact our environment and our society in ways that are not all positive, right? And so we have environmental pollution and environmental degradation. We also have issues of social justice because the benefits and costs of our energy systems are not distributed evenly or equally across societies and across the globe. And so for those reasons, the study of energy and how we improve our energy systems to better meet our environmental and our social goals is really crucially important. Um, it's a fascinating field because of our really close relationship with energy throughout history, because it is, it is complex, um, and because in, in reality, no matter what perspective you have to bring to the energy question, we need that perspective to help us to address our energy challenges. And so um, it's fascinating in a way that engages you with people and ideas from all sorts of different perspectives and, um, and uh, ways of thinking. And so uh, one of the things that I would also highlight that we're going to be really seeking to address in this course is several trends in energy that um, that are visible to us when we when we study it. So one trend today that we see is that despite all of our efforts to begin to transform our systems, our energy use continues to grow across the planet year by year by year. Um, and so the challenges that we face with it continue to grow alongside the growth of our of our use in it on, on the planet. In addition, our, our, our fuel sources right now are, are still predominantly fossil fuels. We are 80 to 85% dependent on, on the planet on fossil fuel sources of energy. So we really need to figure out how to convert that if we're to address our uh, environmental and our social challenges. Um, and then finally, that trend of uneven use, if we do not um, uh, address that directly, we're in danger of reproduce, reproducing systems that continue to be unfair for many people around the planet. So in a moment of change and flux and transition in energy, we really need to leverage that as an opportunity to improve our relationship with energy and, and with each other. Great. Thank you for that, Amanda. That was, that was such a great response. And obviously, there's a lot of really important things to learn in this course. Um, so this course is being offered by the Irving Institute. Um, so what is the Irving Institute and, and, and what do we do? So the Arthur L. Irving Institute for Energy and Society at Dartmouth College is um, uh, the home for you and I, right? So, um, so we are the um, are part of the education team in the institute. The institute was created in 2016, and the uh, the the rationale behind the institute was how do we bring all of Dartmouth's resources from across all of the schools and departments to bear on our energy challenges, our contemporary energy challenges, and so we really do seek to leverage fully the, the liberal arts in our uh, approach to tackling energy problems. We're not just about energy technology or energy policy. We're about energy humanities. We're about energy um, from a, a, a different country's perspective, from a justice perspective, as well as from a technology and a business and um, and even a healthcare perspective, right? And so we, uh, we fulfill our mission. Our mission is to help to transition um, society to energy systems that are sustainable, reliable, and affordable for everyone. 
We fulfill that mission by pursuing a research agenda, an education agenda, and an agenda of engagement and involvement of our Dartmouth community and communities beyond. And so there are many opportunities for faculty and students at Dartmouth to get involved with the Institute, and those opportunities will continue to increase as we grow um, and as we grow into our new building, um, which we are very excited about as a home and a crossroads for talking about thinking about energy and climate and how to make how to make better futures. Great, thank you. I should also add to that question. So given all of that, why is the Irving Institute offering this course? We're offering this course because um, uh, we really we really see the need for an on ramp. So even though we all use and interact with energy throughout our daily lives, we don't really think about it that often. And so for a lot of folks, it's sort of, well, how, how do I get started in learning about energy and how do I you know, if I want to impact our, um, our, cl our climate changed world, what are the levers that I can use? And energy is exactly the place where we can do that. And so, um, so uh, Energy 101 should give you that landscape, right? Should get, should get you ankle deep in understanding the basics of what we're talking about when we say, you know, energy in society is important. And so take the course just to get started. It's not for those who are advanced, right? Or who are already working in the field. It's really for those who say, I want to learn more and I just want to get going. Great. Thank you. Um, so let's, let's hear a little bit more about what's going to happen in the course. What can people expect over the next four weeks? So we are really excited about this version of the course. We've done it three or four times before, and I think we get better and better each time that we do it. And so this time the course will have four main chunks. So the first chunk, this one that we're starting, starting with this video, is really the groundwork and the landscape for what is energy? How do we think about energy and justice? Um, and how do we think about energy in our lives, right? The second chunk is more of a systems view. How do we look at energy from the standpoint of uh, it, the social, the economic, the physical aspects of uh, our um, what brings us energy, what generates energy, what um, uh, what impacts energy and its um, uh, transformations have on our societies and on our environment. The third chunk looks at a few key sectors in our energy systems. So it looks at the electricity grid, it looks at transportation, and it looks at the built environment. And then the fourth section um, is um, that bigger picture of policy and innovation and finance to sort of put it all together um, as we um, as we wrap things up. Um, I'm, I'm also really excited that the course isn't just about watching videos and having discussions, although those should both be really fun and engaging and worthwhile. We also are building in a hands-on workshop on um, demonstrating a solar energy technology, um, which should be really fun. And that again, will be in our, um, in our in the project lab in our building and um, we are also um, to um, to incentivize folks and to reward folks for, for participating um, if you attend all four of our discussion sessions you get to um, be entered for a chance to win a luminade solar lamp they are really cool lamps they are multicolored and um, they actually would be great and really fun in a dorm room so I'm um, hoping folks not only get started but really finish strong in the course so they have a chance to win um, a really cool solar lamp Thank you. So there it sounds like there's a lot to learn in this course. It'll be a really great introduction to the landscape of energy. Um, but will we have a chance to learn anything about energy in our own lives a little more personally as we take this course? Yeah, that's a great question. And um, the course really is looking mostly at energy and context in that social and societal context, you know, not just locally, but also nationally and globally. And so um, it doesn't hit hard directly on how we use energy in our personal lives. But a great way to get started on that is to pursue what's out, what we um, have seen out there uh, called energy calculators, right? So there's a set of tools that are available for you to examine your own energy use in different ways. And one of those is a carbon footprint calculator um, from the United Nations Carbon Offset Platform. Um, another is the appliance energy calculator from the US Department of Energy. And that looks specifically at individual appliances if you want to know how much your toaster or your mini fridge uses. Um, and then finally, a third source that I really like is the global footprint calculator, which is by a, um, an international organization, the Global Footprint Network, that places energy more broadly in the context of your environment 
environmental footprint on on the planet. So those are a few examples, and it would be fabulous for folks if they wanted to to complete one or another of those um, calculators before they come to the first session um, to give us a little bit of something else extra to uh, to chat about. Yeah, those calculators are a really interesting way to to learn about your own energy use every day. I really support that. I think that um, uh, the recognizing your individual connection to energy is just as important as seeing how it works out there in society because it makes it much more relevant and much more present. So as we wrap up, what is coming up next in this course? So the next next up is Elizabeth Wilson. Elizabeth is a professor of environmental studies at Dartmouth College. She is our director at the Arthur Irving Institute for Energy and Society. And she's going to be doing an introduction to um, she's going to be going more into depth than I did on how energy is interwoven in our lives, our lives here in North America and the lives of people all across the planet and how it really does vary around the world. So she teaches our um, the Environmental Studies 12 Energy in the Environment class, which is a, um, a requirement for our sustainable energy minor. And um, it's a really um, important way to, to um, get that um, introductory landscape view. So um, Elizabeth will, um, will take that on in the very next video. So there is a lot to look forward to. Well, thank you so much to Amanda for joining us. And we hope that you are as excited as we are to start digging into this course. So we will see you in the next video. Thank you.